What does it say? It's, it's a divider and digital clock. Ooh! Wow. Ooh. And there's a lot of RF happening over here. This, those must be the dividers. 100 kilohertz, 90 kilohertz, 30 kilohertz, and 10 kilohertz. <laughs> Why use ICs to do division where you can do it with RF? Ooh! Look at that. Continuously adjustable. So the second divider is not working. We do have a problem right here. So there's a bias issue. And I'm so close. So I'm getting more and more perplexed. I need to remove capacitance from the main branch. Maybe there is a biasing problem. Slurp. If it's not that, we're kind of running out of components to suspect. Okay. That seems to work. There you go. We have a working clock. So now that the clock is started, I should get a pulse now and then. Oh, there it is. There we, there we have it. Okay, there it is. All right. So that's the cesium clock every second, and that is. The, uh, the, big, the big one is the pulse generated by the crazy circuit uh, on that. You want to adjust it to its ultimate position, 10 microseconds. It's supposed to be adjustable up to 1 microsecond, 5 microsecond, and now we are 1 microsecond. There you go, you got that. I hooked up the clock to the cesium reference frequency standard and finally I have a true atomic clock. And that is actually the config that they used uh, the first time they flew an atomic clock to synchronize the time across the world. 